Hello and welcome to Excellence Academy. Let's look at how to differentiate other problems for exponential functions. So a second example, so example two, example two, let's say y is equal to exponential 4x cubed plus 2, for instance. I'm asked to differentiate this. What do I do? Same concept. I will say, let u, let u be equal to the power here. That's 4x cubed plus 2. Differentiate u with respect to x. I'll have that du all over dx is equal to, this gives you 12. I'm having 12x squared. 2 is a constant, 0. So it's off. Next up. Therefore, I'll have that y is now equal to exponential. This we call u. Becomes exponential. All of this is u. Becomes exponential u. If I differentiate y with respect to u, I will have that dy all over du is equal to exponential u. Using chain rule, using chain rule, I will have that. Um, Recall that from chain rule formula, we said dy over dx is equal to dy over du times du all over dx. That's now equal to my dy over du here is exponential u so becomes exponential u times du over dx here is 12x squared. If I multiply this now, it's now equal to, this gives you 12x squared then exponential u all right but we said that u is equal to um, this 4x cubed plus 2 plus 2 all right so therefore the one by the x is now equal to 12x squared becomes 12x squared exponential u what's u there 4 x cubed plus 2. So this becomes my answer using um, chain rule. Okay, one last example. Example 3. What if I have that y is equal to exponential um, three x squared plus six x minus seven for instance i have this so differentiate this what do you do this is an exponential functions i will have i'll have to um, employ the idea of chain rule so case one let's you be equal to my pi here or the index of the exponential function that gives you three x squared plus six x minus 7. Next up again, I'll differentiate this such that I'll have that du all over dx is equal to, this gives you 6x, I'm having 6x plus, this gives you 6, so I'm having 6, so I'm having 6x plus 6. If you want to, you could factorize this to give you 6 here into x plus 1, 6 times x, 6x, 6 times 1, 6, so that's my du over dx. Next up, y is equal to exponential of this. This value, as we said, is equal to u. So it becomes exponential u. When I differentiate y with respect to u, I will have dy over du. So I now have that dy all over du is equal to exponential u. All right. So I'm having this. All right. So using chain rule, Using chain rule, using chain rule, I have that dy over dx is equal to dy over du times du all over dx. So this is now equal to my dy over du is equal to exponential u times du over dx is um, this value 6 into x plus 1. 
So this is now equal to this and this. I'm having 6 into x plus 1 exponential u. So exponential u. So 6 into x plus 1 exponential u. But we said that u is equal to this 3x squared plus 6x minus 7. Alright, such that I will now have that dy over dx is now equal to 6 into x plus 1 into exponential, then u. u is this, becomes 3x squared plus 6x minus 7. So I'm having this as the result of differentiation of exponential um, functions. In the next video, I will show you how to do a shortcut to differentiating using exponential. So if I want to differentiate an exponential function, there's a shortcut to how to differentiate um, this. How do I do it? Um, we'll look at that in the next class.